Hello and welcome to this latest video from cloudwords.net. My name is, as always, Mauricio, and for the next few minutes, I want to talk about the best VPNs for use in China. Before we get started, though, I want to draw your attention to that big old bell icon that will subscribe you to this channel, as well as the thumbs up you can click if you like this video. Now, let's talk about the Great Firewall. If you want to know quickly what is the best VPN for China, you can jump right ahead with the time code I've added down below or simply click the first link in the video description that will take you right to it. As you probably know by now, after watching the protests in Hong Kong go on for several months, China isn't exactly the best place when it comes to human rights. In fact, the Middle Kingdom has one of the worst track records when it comes to things other people take for granted, like freedom of speech, of movement, and other political freedoms. In practice, there are no real freedoms in China. The Communist Party has country sewn up tight and in effect you need to watch what you say or end up arrested. In this case, arrested means a fine or a stint in a re-education camp if you're lucky or having your organs removed for sale if you're less lucky, usually while you're still alive. So yeah, China is not a place where you want to air your political opinions lightly. This doesn't just apply to daily life either. The Chinese state keeps a very close eye on what's happening online with plenty of sites that the rest takes for granted being blocked there like Facebook or Wikipedia. The sites that are allowed, which are usually knockoffs of these non-Chinese ones, are closely monitored and controlled with posts mysteriously disappearing if the censor doesn't like what they're saying. Overall, a pretty bleak picture. In such a society, you have two options. Keep your head down and do as you're told or speak your mind in whispers. While doing that in the real world can get complicated, online it's pretty easy. You use a VPN, a virtual private network, is a piece of software that routes your internet connection to a private server owned by the VPN company that not only changes your virtual connection so you can access any site from anywhere, but also secures your connection. They're a great solution for, kinds, for all kinds of internet problems, but are especially useful for anybody trying to duck the attention of government agents. However, there is one small issue remaining. The Chinese government knows about VPNs and has not only banned their use, but has gotten very skilled at tracking down their use and is even rumored to be able to crack their encryption in certain cases. So, if you're going to use a VPN while in China, you need to use a good one. Here's another small problem. Not all VPNs are created equal. We've reviewed over 50 of them over the years and only a small percentage have the security needed for safe use in China. I've rounded up the three best ones, though I've linked to our full article below if you'd like even more suggestions. First up is ExpressVPN, which is not only very secure, but is also very fast, meaning you will be able to surf like you would from anywhere, essentially. The downside is that to get the very best encryption possible, you're going to need to mess around with its configuration files, which maybe a bit more than most users can handle, actually. Now, if that's the case, NordVPN might be the best answer. While not as fast as Express, it's just as secure and it's easier to set up for use in China. It's also cheaper than Express, costing about $120 for three years, than 100, than 100 for just one. Lastly is Viper VPN, which we mentioned because it has developed a special protocol exactly for people living in countries with despotic regimes. It's called Chameleon, and not only does it encrypt your connection up to the latest specs, it also hides the telltale signs that a VPN leaves behind. The downside to Viper is that it can be pretty slow, but that could be worth it in some cases. If you're going to go online in China, you're going to need to use a VPN unless having a chat with the local police is on your bucket list. If it is, it should be the very last thing you do. We hope this short list help you make an informed choice, otherwise the full article 
is linked below in the description. Thank you very much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Stay safe out there and till next time.